cross piece. Cross? Last piece. Cross piece. Yeah. And starting week with vlog number four with finishing the Lego. Done! I do need to put all the minifigs in the right place or in some places at the very least. Um, it was it was a fun set. I don't know if it was as much fun as some of the other modulars, but I enjoyed it. And it's got some really nice details that I can't easily show you now because um, it's built. But maybe later we'll take the lid off, the different floors off, and we can have a look. Good morning. It's Saturday. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Situation normal, we're, we're as usual. Uh, I'm using a new camera today. It's actually the camera that came with my new Galaxy S21. So remember in the summer when I bought myself a new phone and said I was going to go SIM only and use it? Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm indecisive. <laughs> when, my, when my contract came up for renewal, uh, I got a pretty good deal on this one, which was unlimited data, Spotify, some free headphones and a tag. So I ended up upgrade into this purely because um this cam this this was a Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro which was relatively cheap it was 240 quid and it was really good i mean genuinely i'd be quite happy to use this for the next 2 years but when i'm vlogging it's not great um it's very very shaky shaky that's a word i just made it up very shaky and as a result um when I was using it in time to do vlogs and stuff, I just wasn't happy with the output. So I kind of that was one of the reasons why I decided to upgrade anyway. But this is not going out to waste. It has a purpose, it has a use. Uh, I am tempted to get rid of my old phone, though, possibly Mizuma that or something. Because we are starting to build a small collection. Maybe donate them to charity or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's phone stuff. Uh, happy with this kind of phone so far. It's a bit smaller than the Xiaomi. It's the, the standard version, not the, uh, the, the plus one. Uh, I didn't want anything too big because, to be honest, my thumbs uh, I'm struggling to reach across the size of some of the phones on the screens nowadays. I always used to be the one who got like the night the Samsung Note and stuff like that, and, but now I'm like, no, nah, just a normal size phone will do me good. Um, it was quite funny because I did the unboxing video you might have seen the other day, uh, it was a shorts video, which I just meant as a joke because I don't particularly like the shorts format, and it's like 600 people watched it overnight. So I guess that's what people are saying is uh, the thing to do where you can get little trending videos and build some engagement. I don't know. I've not seen any change to our subscriber numbers. Uh, I suppose 600 is probably not enough people to actually uh, warrant that kind of change. Um, but yeah. Uh, we also did the poll the other day. That's another thing that's apparently driving engagement on videos at the minute. But I actually did have a question that I wanted to ask and you answered it quite well. Which was, did you want to see us doing a react to our first, our 2015 video? Um, the reason I asked that is because I've been watching Sarah, that turns funds, um, look at her 2019 trip with Adam, and it was really good. I really enjoyed watching it, uh, and I've also been watching uh, Hat Films, members of the Oxcast do sort of some retrospective stuff of their previous trips, and again, I really enjoyed those, so I kind of thought, yeah, I'd like to have another go at that myself, and we have threatened to do it a few times, but I'm now beginning to go through in my head, oh, I want it to look. Uh, so, fingers crossed, in the next few weeks we'll start to look at doing that because I genuinely am quite excited about rewatching that trip and talking about it because we have watched it a lot of times. And I think, like, uh, we're talking about it, it's probably going to end up being longer than the actual episode because I've got a lot of thoughts on what we recorded and how we did it differently in future trips and stuff. It might be interesting, it might not. Uh, other than that, for this weekend, quiet, really. As you previously said, we're going to have a date night tonight. We're going to get some takeaway food, and now we're going to sit in the kitchen at the clean kitchen table that we've managed to maintain as a clean kitchen table since Christmas, so yeah. Uh, so we're going to sit down and relax and uh, maybe play some games or something. Uh, tomorrow we might go for a walk, uh, we might not, I don't know yet, we're probably going to try and do a nice dinner, uh, have a nice relax. Uh, that's the main thing, is we relax now, build our energy up, and when lockdown ends we can go out and do all the things. I'm still very much aware that I did spend a lot of money building this PC so I could play all the new latest games. And yeah, I'm playing Minecraft from 10 years ago. <laughs> but, nice community of people that I'm playing the game with now, so, you know, everyone helps everyone. And, and, and we have a mad world with lots and lots of places to visit and, and explore, which is fun. 
What's up? What do you want? Really? Oh, we'll have to get you some food then, won't we? So yeah, while we are downstairs, let's have a quick look at this Lego set, shall we? Um, now it's completed. The uh, the nice thing about this, quite a lot of the uh, Lego sets, the larger ones like this, the detailed ones, is that they do separate and they break down so you can look at all the details in detail. <laughs> you be quiet, mister. Oh, poor Jim. You'd think he'd never get fo got fed. He got fed this morning, he had breakfast. Uh, but yeah, this is um, the police station and we got some nice details in here. Um, have I got all the minifigs out? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got um, starting on the ground floor. We have this policewoman here. We got a donut shop, and you get all the doors do open. And we can open the police station doors if we want. Got the little news agents there. I don't know if the, no, there isn't a little fella in the news agents. I was a little disappointed on this set because I don't feel like there were that many minifigs. Although now that I look at it, I might have been a bit wrong because I can see quite a few. Because we do have a policeman here. We have the donut shop owner here, and uh, she's obviously got lots of donuts there to sell, and there's some nice, some like little cups and stuff down the side. The details on this set, I mean, they're not as good as some, but they are still quite good. Uh, there is a little secret. Uh, I'll, I, if you want to skip forward, if you're going to build this set in the future, there are some spoilers in here because they do have little stories to tell these sets, which are quite cute. But well, I think we can lift this up here and under here. We have the prison cell. Someone's been digging the prison cell out and they're trying to get out. And if we look over the back here, down here, there's a little crack. So they are actually on the verge of breaking out. Jin's joined us. Uh, but yeah, you can you can lift the bed up and put it down again. And the idea with this is someone's been stealing donuts from the donut shop. So as we look, we'll probably find out more about that. So let's put this uh, door back in. There we go. And pop the bed back down, and just inside there, there's a, there's a little um, little convenience as well. Uh, some of my favourite parts about this floor, I love this little water cooler. It's very cute, and yeah, the, the donut shop is amazing. The little tail's very cute as well. Uh, it reminds me, I need to update the photographs of this on Instagram. I've been uh, sorry, Twitter. I've been posting Twitter updates. And these bushes here, this brick that builds the bushes, is brand new. It's actually a cog. So the um, creators of my uh, Lego sets, and I've got Minecraft on the brain now, are as creative as some of the Imagineers at Disney because they come up with really unique ways to use different bricks. An example of that actually would be kind of linked with the police station. Uh, I'll just jump to another set. This would be the Disney train station. And along the top here, the little handcuffs that are used to do the details for the roofs. It's like using different bricks for different purposes means that they don't have to then cast a new brick to do the roof details. Back over at the police station we have the second floor, or first floor if you're English, <laughs> uh, and in here we have a little apartment and here we've got a suspicious looking fella, we, he might be the donut thief you see, and what he's got, he's got a little rod with a chain on it and a donut on the end and what he can do is he can lift his bed up and there's a hole in the floor which doesn't make much sense here, but if I pop this back on here, like, hang on, just got to square it right, like that. Now the hole in the floor is above the donut shop, so we can fish donuts out of the donut shop. <laughs> uh, Favourite bits about this, I love his little record deck, his little stereo system there. Uh, over here we've got the police office, we've got a couple of desks here, we've got a policeman who appears to be just staring at the window in the minute and it has one of those little sets of handcuffs that I just mentioned on the Disney set just down there but obviously because he's a policeman he can use them for the intended purposes and just down here we have a little photograph section for getting your uh, photos of your uh, suspects or your holiday shots if you're a bit weird uh, <laughs> got some nice details outside as well the ivy climbing up the side of the building here is starting to come through and some of the plants uh, and then finally we move up to the top floor I'm just going to have to grab this and again nicely sits on the building they kind of only have one position to go in so you do have to line them up correctly there it is uh, favourite parts here this bit here is actually come unclipped but let's just clip it back on I love the sign the sign's a printed brick as well it's often with like, oh, they put stickers on but now they've 
these uh, modular sets, they put them as printed bricks. Uh, this bit isn't isn't broken or anything. There is a roof piece that fits in here, but I just thought I'd take the roof piece off so you could see inside. This is like the evidence storage area. It's got some donuts and things in that might have been pinched from the donut shop. And on this side, there's a crowbar and some glasses and bottles and stuff. And we can pop that brick in there. Uh, the the ultimate plan with these, the, well, the ultimate intention with these, they don't have many studs holding them in place, so you can just very easily just when you're not filming yourself, drop them into place. <laughs> The castle does this as well, the Disney castle. Uh, but yeah, we have the top floor now. We've got an interview room here with a little recorder and a little table and some chairs. Uh, another little public convenience there. Well, maybe not public. A little bathroom. And the top of the staircase. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's like a water tower, I suppose, isn't it? Because it does have a pipe going through. The, well, suggested pipe going through. Um, if we turn the set around as well, a little weird detail on this set because space is a bit limited. Um, the only way that the donut thief can get to his flat is up a set of ladders, which I'm not so sure health and safety would approve of that, but there we go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this kind of shows you the level of detail on these sets. This back part probably never be in view, you know, but it still has the detail. And the idea with these sets is you have these little pinholes here pop some pins in and connect them to the next building along so eventually in a little while I'm going to connect it up to the rest of the buildings that we have and, and uh, continue our street right last bit there is a roof which again has a limited number of bricks to connect it uh, needs to be lined up straight but that sits on top and finishes the set great these aren't they I mean they're not the cheapest sets but there's a lot of bricks in there and there's a lot of value for money as far as I spent two weeks building it because I decided to do a bag a night and it was 14 bags. Little bird eating the door, it's very cute. And there's an air conditioning unit. Yeah, I enjoyed that set. Uh, not my favourite modular, but still a great set. So with this area of the house looking a little bit clearer now, we had considered putting a TV on the wall here. Uh, but we had a chat about it, and uh, to be honest, there's probably only me would maybe watch stuff when I'm doing some pots in here. Jem prefers to listen to a bit of music. So I thought what I'd do instead is I found my old laptop. Oh, here he goes again. Um, that I used to watch, I used to edit our videos on this, and it's not very fast. So what I did was I, <laughs> I brought it in here, so when I'm doing pots now, I can pop this on the table and watch some videos and things. Uh, assuming you don't make it fall off the table. Be careful, mister. Uh, yeah, so that's that. But the uh, rest of today, I am going to now try and get the rest of this area tidied up so we can sit and have some dinner here tonight. Blimey. I thought uh, I'd have five minutes nap and fell asleep for an hour. And I did also feed Jen, and he thanked me for that by throwing it all back up again on the couch. So I had to clean that up. All right, fella. I think he ate too quick. We'll give him some more food later, maybe if he's good. Well, if his stomach settles. Uh, other than that, today I did some pots. Very exciting stuff, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, and, oh, yes, and of course, I've got the Lego in the right place now. It's in the middle there, and it, whoops, there we go. There's the new police station. I still need to get the winter sets down, I've still not got much progress on them. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll probably maybe I don't even not I'm not even going to say when I'm going to do that because it's not going to happen, is it? Gemma has ordered tea for us tonight. So we're going to collect that in a minute when I pick her up. And due to leave to go and pick her up now. And that is pretty much Saturday, to be honest. I think we'll probably chat later as well. Um, oh, it's quite funny. I did notice as well that uh, when I was saying that we would be. Um, Taking a leaf out of Sarah from That Sounds Fun's book and doing the React series. She was chatting on Instagram and said she's going to take a leaf out of her book and do the occasional vlogs. So it's like vlog exchange. <laughs> so I'll chat those out when she gets those uploaded. I'm sure we will be because we do uh, we do like watching Sarah's vlogs. So what do you think of the camera, by the way? I'm trying to use it as much as I can today instead of using the, um, the G7X. I, pretty much a word the selfie camera is probably not going to be quite as good quality because I'm only running it at 30 frames and not 60. Uh, the other the other camera on the other side, that one is running at 60 frames and most of our content is done at 60 frames. So it'll be a little bit smoother. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to assess it when uh, I'm doing the edit and I'll decide whether to use this camera more often just for general day-to-day -day vlogging rather than using our sadly ailing G7X, which has a few little issues with it. Um, we do have some money set aside now for its replacement, but we're kind of hesitant to start spending lots of money on cameras until we can actually go out and use them. We'd like to get a new camera for when all the lockdowns and things end so we can... Uh, we can sort of invest back into the channel when it's like a, more of a sensible time to do it. Before I go and pick Gemma up, some uh, purchases. Gemma bought this print from Instagram. I'm not sure where from, but I will pop a link if I remember over the top of the video now or in the description. It's a really cool print though, isn't it? It's got lots of, um, it's not just Disney stuff on there. You've got Kennedy on there and the eye and uh, it, you kind of think, um, the fun spots on there as well, at SeaWorld and Universal of course as well. Uh, another thing we bought, Gemma did some charity auctions, well entered some charity auctions for Chester Zoo uh, and won in the auctions this piece of art and this piece of art. And also, because I'm silly, I saw something on Reddit that some, not Reddit, uh, Discord that someone had posted uh, as a silly purchase to buy. Uh, so I bought them and it is some ceramic slugs. <laughs> uh, they, these were worth buying just to get to see the laugh that Gemma did when she saw them. So quite happy with that. I'm playing about with the camera now. That's zoomed in, zoomed out. Oh, look at this. This is, uh, I think we are uh, roast dinner for tomorrow. Gemma also got some eggs so we can do some Yorkshire punch. Um, we got pigs in blankets. Oh, and look at sprouts. That. And sprouts. Sprouts. Little. I don't like sprouts. Um, beef. It's a fair old sized chunker of beef there. So that's going to be uh, beef sandwiches later in the week as well. And then we got a big turnip. This time we'll hopefully either eat it or not let it rot in the fridge. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's on. It's on a roll. Okay. Got some sprouts there, as, as previously mentioned. Gemma's favourites. I don't like them. A uh, little sprig of broccoli. I have. I need to move it back. Carrots. And. There's a big bag of praetors there as well. Still a bit dirt on them, like my mum used to get when I was a kid. We also have some food from Peri Peri that we'll uh, obviously dish up later on. Gemma's just going to go and get changed and to get comfortable for the night. I was just reminded as well, uh, well, definitely had a shower today. Um, so last night I was listening to some music. I have the big can set of headphones that I listened to music on that I got off Amazon. And uh, I must have fallen asleep with the head music on. Uh, and generally when I do that, I take the headphones off and put them somewhere in me sleep effectively. At about three o'clock, I woke up to like a weird knocking sound. And I think Jem woke up as well. Yes, I thought the cats were fighting. Yeah. They were um, hitting the bedroom door. Yeah, so, but anyway, I uh, picked my phone up, turned the torch on. And I saw Jen stood, <laughs> stood in the doorway of the bedroom with my headphones perfectly placed on his back. Uh, and the funniest part of which was they were still playing music. So he just stood there looking at me as if to what? With a pair of headphones wrapped around his back? <laughs> like like it, like they were on someone's head. Oh dear me. And that's had me laughing all day. <laughs> Gemma's home. And you got more candles. How pretty it is. You told me it was three candles. I know. And I see three candles and some shower gels. I know. Smell that one. This is... Wild berry jam donut. Mmm. How pretty is that tub though? Lovely. With the pink lid. This tub's got. What are the other ones? Pineapple pancakes. That's nice too. Mm -hmm. And again, a really, really nice tub. And then finally. Whipped coffee. Whipped coffee. That's subtle that one. It's there, but it's subtle. Whereas, like, that mm -hmm. one smacks you in the face. So these are from your Facebook group again, are they? Yeah. Well, these are from the seller, not the Facebook group. Okay, the sure. Seller, 
Lovely stuff. I just really like the um, the design. There's like eight different candles in this set. Mm -hmm. I didn't want all of them. Well, you but, did, but you did. But like, <laughs> it's breakfast and coffee and donut and coffee. So oh, like, this smells comfortable. So you can mix them up a little bit. And then she had a sale on the shower gels because they're normally £10 each, but it was three for £20. So it was like, buy two, get one free. Okay. Like, That's your favourite. Yeah, it's nice. have been enjoying that. And I got some sweaty weather mm -hmm. because it's another scent that we really like. And I don't feel like I should have to mention this, but yeah, we know these are a bit more expensive than we would buy them from if we were in America. But we can't get to America, so we have to import them. And <laughs> Sound like I'm telling people off. Though. She she charges a little bit more for some things. Mm. Well, everyone's going to charge the, their yeah. own rate that they can make profit from. She always, she, and next day, it's always next day delivery with mm. them as well, so it's really good. Um, and I got us some Winterberry Wonder mm. because that okay. was the only other scent that she had left in the tree. It sounds nice. It's Ruby Frost Winterberry Sparkling Cranberry and Crystal Vanilla. Okay. It sounds like it'll be a nice one. And sweat, Sweater Weather, or Sweaty Weather as everyone calls it. Apple Slices, Blue Skies and Fresh Breeze. Yep, because the, the flare. It's one of my favourite um, autumn scents. Yeah, it is quite nice, that one was. Yeah. And then that's, we've already got one of these on Christmas, but it's yeah. really, really nice. We're, about, we're probably just it over halfway through. It reminds me of um, Murray Mint, like mm. a creamy mint or a caramel mint, as opposed to a peppermint. It's mint. almost as good as sauce mint. It reminds which me is of my favorite. the mint shower gel that the Body Shop had in 2019. Mm -hmm. But, but mints are shower gels a quid a bottle and that's a ten. <laughs> and do you know what? I don't care. <laughs> well technically it wasn't it wasn't ten. No, no, it was I'm not. Three for twenty. So. so what are we doing this weekend? Um nothing. Relaxing. Yeah. Kicking back. That was kinda of up to the side. Okay. But yeah. yeah. Didn't even film it so it made Just no relaxing, sense. So. Yeah. Okay. If, if anyone's interested, this is where I get them from. There we go. And she does have a Facebook group as well, which is... Oh. Pause the video and read the thing. Yeah, so what... This isn't a paid promotion or response oh thing. Oh, I wish you... it was. Someone didn't have to pay for these, but no, yeah. it's not. So what happens is you can open a box with her. Yeah. So I opened a box because um, these are new, brand, brand new to Bath & Body Works. So she will order these from America for you, but... She has to wait until they go on offer, otherwise they will cost a lot more. Yeah. Um, so you pay half, and then when they arrive, you pay the other half. Um, and then she has a sale, a winter sale, on getting rid of all the Christmas stuff. So, And you just add to your box, and then when you're ready, you just ask her to ship it to you. And it's next day delivery. It's nice and easy. But she also does, like, um, toothpaste and food. And if you want specific things, you can ask, ask her to get them for, like, Target and Walmart and stuff, because... A daughter lives there, so she ships it all over. Here we go. Oh, look at this. We got peri peri. We just got the chicken and chips this time. We normally get some ribs and then make two it's days too of it. Much there, isn't it. But I mean, that's a lot of food as it is. So. <laughs> and then you have the ribs on as well. Plus, we've got um, our nice roast dinner for tomorrow. Yes, we do. We got. We, we have that. I'm gonna save that. Up, We've got some potential pudding for later if we're still hungry, but I'm not sure if we will be after that. No, I know. I was going to put the salad in here because I can come to work with me on Monday. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, now I'm watching Mr. Devin and Mr. Ian, but I started recording again because he just fell off the windowsill. <laughs> he just fell off the windowsill. Well, I've put our bed in here to take upstairs, and he jumped from there, he went across, hit the arm of that chair with one leg, spun round, and landed on the floor. It was, it was funny. We had our dinner while watching Tangled Up in Fun play Guess Who? Disney uh, Guess Who. Disney, 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 Disney Guess Who. Uh, did you enjoy that dinner? That was beautiful. Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, so if you want to make Disney Guess Who with yeah. your kids, watch Tangled Up in Fun this year. Yeah, I'll pop a link in the, uh, up at the top. You yeah, alright, Sunday morning, Gemma? Um, I'm alright, Saturday afternoon, Mark. Saturday afternoon. I think we were both a bit wrong though. <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Yeah, we're watching Jesse and Dodger play a game on uh, YouTube. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, something about twins. I don't know. Uh, twin mirror. Twin mirror. Okay. Um, but we're also watching Jin being a cat. 
Um, we've just put on. Well, Gemma's just put on the roast beef roast dinner, so we'll show you that when 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 it's nearer done and stuff. But otherwise, a nice relaxing Sunday. I keep looking at the wrong side of the floor. Yes, it is. It's like minus two. Feel real feel feels like real steel. You've uh, excelled today, haven't you? <laughs> Look at that. Lovely roast dinner, the piece. So, yeah. It's like a Christmas dinner with the sprouts and It does. I mean, it looks it. like two Christmas dinners on one plate, to be honest, but <laughs> <laughs> we're going to tuck into this now and enjoy this. So, did you have a nice weekend, honey? I had a lovely weekend. It was a quiet one, but it was nice. Good and that too. roast dinner was amazing, wasn't it? It was. It's Monday now. <laughs> ultimately. Uh, so we're just going to close this vlog off I think here because um, we can prep, prep for the next one then. Uh, yeah. And look at she's there. And there's something in the post so hopefully for the next one we'll have another unboxing which will be nice. Something I'm very excited to receive. Mm -hmm. and it's not beer. <laughs> Although maybe by the weekend there'll be <laughs> some wine. beer in the post. No, it's not wine. <laughs> it's not alcohol. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, Gemma. Bye. Bye, Archie.